something I should say There is something I should tell you there Hello and welcome to another tutorial In this um, particular tutorial we're going to talk about using Reason 8 with the Apollo Quad interface this also applies to the uh, Apollo Duo interface in which you have up to, um, I don't know, 32 mixer inputs. Uh, I haven't been able to find any other tutorial on how to use this interface with Reason 8. So I took it upon myself to find out if I could use the effects from the console which um, we all know that the advantage of using this console is that you could use uh, plugins in real time, latency free or near near uh, zero latency. So um, the interesting thing here is that you have all these inputs, and I wasn't able to determine like how to access them through through the software. Um. I was kind of confused. I said, well, you know, there's no labels here on how to get stuff in and out of Reason itself. With Pro Tools, it's a little different because um, you could do your in and out labeling and you see all the all the routing there better than in Reason. Reason, all we get is um, if we go here where it says um, audio in and out, all we have is all this this place here so we don't really know what's going on so I took it upon myself to find out um, how to take something from the software send it to the console so we could apply effect and then record it back into uh, another audio track in Reason so let's say for example we all know that in Reason we are limited to whatever effects is inside the software we can add, let's say we have an 1176 compressor, whether it being from Waves or from UAD or Slate Digital, we can't, we cannot use it inside the software itself. So by using console, which is the software that controls the UAD, we could send it to a virtual channel inside the console and then bring it back. We could take it uh, inside console and then bring it back to uh, to Reason for processing. So in this case, I open a demo session that comes with Reason, and uh, it's a very nice song, very nice. And uh, let's play it. There is something I okay. So in this example, I'm gonna take this drums, there is right. And what if I say, you know what, I would like to run that through an LA-2A, let's say, for instance. So, I have to get what we have to do first is find out where in here is the output to the virtual channel of console. And so let's say I want to use, if you enable the, the uh, virtual inputs and outs of the console make sure this is uh, checked and this should be in here you see where it says virtual one and two now you can have usually it's like this unlinked but if you link them together it's a stereo track so whatever inserts you apply here would uh, affect the both channels left and right so um now what we have to do is send these drums to the console. To do this in Reason, we have to go to the rack and find where those drums are. So I believe it's here. Let's see. Let's play it. it out of me. Can we stay yep, this is the track. Longer, so what we gotta do is flip the rack by pressing Tab. And then we see here the output. Now we could just take the the output directly, but I'm gonna take the parallel for now because what this is gonna do is send an extra signal 
um, is that going to cancel the signal going into the the, uh, the mixer from Reason right now? It's okay because I could just mute this here. And just to have processing, I'm going to take it and put it into audio output 21 and 22. This are your virtual outputs. This is virtual 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so you place it on 21 and it's going to drop a stereo a stereo cable for output 21 and 22, which makes it stereo. So if we play it back, now we're going to have, we're going to hear both signals, the one in the console and the one coming from Reason. <clears throat> so if, if we mute the, the, the mixer from Reason, we only hear the one coming from console, which is over here. And as you could no, as you could hear, there's no latency whatsoever. And this is coming to a virtual channel in this console here, and we could now we could apply our effect. So, all right. So here are the effect. We go to the console. Insert the effect over here. Let's say we want to run into an LA two A. And then you go like, okay, well I can't really hear the effect. Oh, we just gotta crank it up. So let's add some compression. Let's add some gain. Can we stay here just a little bit longer, please? Can you say things just to offer me some Now the cool thing is that we can record that signal um, processed again back into Reason. To do that, what we need to do is um, create another audio track, right? And we're gonna name this uh, drums. Let's put P for processed just for now. And uh, what we need to do is assign this input over here coming out of the console to go back into uh, Reason. So we need to go to console and right here where it says output, uh, you don't really need to mess with this because this is just the uh, routing. What you need to figure out is where the virtual input of the console is feeding back into reason. So I took it upon myself again to go through all those things right here. And I figure out that, um, the, uh, the routing is 19 and 20. So what we need to do is when we go to the uh, ra the sequencer, I'm sorry, when you go to the sequencer and you find this track over here, our new track, what we need to do is set it to record. And then we put it into, you see all this, all this inputs here? You really will be lost trying to, <laughs> what I took it upon myself to figure out that it's coming from 19 and 20. So we put it into 19 and 20 and make sure it's a stereo. And now all we have to do is record it. There is something I should say. As you see, it's being recorded here. And there this is, is the signal with the effect. Tell you. And there's no delay. There's that's just a beautiful thing. Now, if you don't believe that that's the signal that's being processed, Look, all I have to do is lower the volume here. And we should be able to see that in the recorded waveform right here. So let's stop it for now. And now we're listening to the process drum. Of 
course, I, I, I put a lot, of, a lot of compression so you can hear the difference. So this is the original drums. Of course, we just need to um, give it more volume, but uh, this is the proper signal. And then, of course, you could do further processing here with the console and, and the um, reason, which, you know, of course, they they did on the original drums. They added some compression and stuff like that. So uh, that's it for the tutorial on how to use the the virtual ins and outs of console from UAD with reason. Once again, remember the virtual output from reason will be 21 and 22. Right here, you need to flip the rack. And this is your output from reason to console, virtual one and two. And then returning, returning to reason to record from those virtual channels, which is one and two, it will be right here. You go into 19 and 20. Okay. I hope that helps. Have a great day.